Hello everyone, it's Jennifer McCreeth. Wednesday, August 12th, 2015. Uh, I was asked uh, to provide an opinion about uh, the big news today that uh, my political party, Strength and Democracy, has added a new member of parliament, uh, Menon Perot, uh, formerly of the NDP party, who has been sitting as an independent for quite a while now. Um, has joined our party and has announced that she will run under Strength and Democracy banner. Um, what do I think of this? Well, first of all, I'm excited uh, that Strength and Democracy has added a third MP. We now have three, which is more than the Green Party has and more than the Bloc Québécois has. Hopefully, this will add to our ability to gain fair and equal coverage by mainstream media when they cover politics and I'm hoping that this will lead to us being invited and included in leadership debates. Couldn't help but notice last week that uh, Elizabeth May was included in the McLean's magazine debate but uh, Bloc Québécois and Strength and Democracy leaders were not. Secondly, this is uh, yet another former NDP peer who has joined Strength and Democracy. Um, I think that's positive in one sense. Um, it helps fight the false myth and stigma that this is a Quebec separatist movement party. Um, yes, one of our three MPs is a former Bloc Québécois MP, however, he quit the bloc because he felt the bloc was too focused on Quebec separation and not focused enough on helping Quebec strive in a united Canada. Of course, uh, I know that you're looking for a comment on the uh, fact that uh, Manon Perot has a little bit of controversy in her past. She has a criminal record. She was in fact kicked out of the NDP caucus when it was announced that criminal charges were filed against her. Uh, specifically, she was charged with public mischief for allegedly falsely reporting that property had been stolen from her office by a former employee who, I guess, apparently had it had been known that this employee had the stolen item and it was not actually stolen and that it was going to be returned. Anyways, I don't really know too much about it. Um, ultimately, she was convicted and sentenced. I believe she had to pay a fine and serve probation time. What does that mean? Well, I'll be honest, that does not look good on a resume. Is that going to help her win votes? No, probably not. Will that hurt her chances in getting votes? It just may, might be. Yes, that could be a problem. What does it mean for Jennifer McCreeth in my quest to win a seat in the riding of Avalon, Newfoundland and Labrador? Well, I don't really know how much of a, f a factor it will play at all. The fact that someone in Newfoundland is asking me about this, I take that as a positive sign that people are taking me seriously, my candidacy seriously, and my party seriously, uh, which is great. Um, does this tarnish the party's brand name? I'll leave that up for you folks to decide. Um, it is what it is. Nobody is perfect. Um, I will point out that Manon Perot has done a lot of good things in her life and has a great record for uh, specifically advocating for inclusion, acceptance, and equal rights for uh, people who have disabilities. And from that standpoint, I think it's exciting to uh, add someone else with some diversity to come to our table. Now we have not only a transgender candidate, now someone who has a disability, and it is what it is. Um, only time will tell. Um, 
but it, ultimately I think it's it's exciting uh, that we have a new member and yeah there you go you wanted the honest uh, thoughts that came to my mind there you go if you have any questions or comments uh, let me know and I'll do what I can to uh, explain, explain or extrapolate further thanks everyone for watching Jennifer McCreeth have a good night.